We are the Traveling Teeps fam, and we go exploring and uh, bring you along with us. Today we are exploring the Ring of Kerry in Kerry County, Ireland. Come along with us, we'll show you some of the stops that we think will be the most fun, and hopefully help you see how accessible it is to travel around the world with us. We are absolutely loving Ireland. We're on day five now and we've found a good little mapped out itinerary. The Ring of Kerry is a super popular drive here in this part of the country and so we are off. Now you can do tours for the Ring of Kerry but as you'll see a lot of times in our videos with five of us, by the time you buy five tickets anywhere, might as well just rent our own car. So that's what we like to do. It gives us a lot of flexibility, a lot of freedom, and we get to book really cool stays. Look at the view from our house this time. Woo! So our first stop on the Ring of Kerry is going to be Ross's Castle. Now yesterday we took bikes in the National Park and we had a beautiful ride through the Torque Waterfall and was it Musgrove's Manor? Musgrove. And we really, really enjoyed that. And we're so lucky the sun came out, it was beautiful. So if you haven't seen that video, check it out. But uh, if you haven't done that and you're hitting the Ring of Kerry, you might want to start there at the Torque Waterfall. We already did that, so we're moving on to Ross Castle. So let's go. As soon as navigation said, take the ha ha, they all loved it. It even says on the screen. It even does the ha ha. The ha -ha. So we have made it here to Ross Castle. It is right along the lake, and so it's gorgeous. Um, I read it, but I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'm not going to try. Sorry. <laughs> Larry. Yeah. Too many. It's a semi Irish lake. It's a semi -Irish <laughs> Loch Ness is in Scotland, bro. I know. Oh. <laughs> it's the only lake outside of the US. <laughs> so, this castle's pretty awesome that it just looks right out. What a view. It's pretty spectacular, really. Not as of yet bought tickets for Ross Castle, uh, where we were going to explore the grounds and then make a decision once we were here based on what we could see and how busy it was with tour groups because there are quite a few. There's two tour buses outside and sometimes that it's really difficult in a small hallways of the castles, things like that. There are boat tours you can take here. You can pick up the horse and buggies that will take you around. Um, you can actually pick one of those up in town if you don't want to deal with all the parking or if you come in by train you could hire someone to take you the whole day. They'll take you through the national park, they'll bring you to the castle, all of the things around Killarney, which is kind of an awesome way to do it if you want a different kind of experience. We've seen more people taking the horse-drawn carts here than probably any place we've ever been. Family groups here entering Ross Castle can do so for 13 no, euro. No, it's true. Dang it. Or 4 euro a person. <laughs> it is a guided tour. Yeah. It is a guided tour, um, probably because we got the same time as a tour bus that they can only let somebody I in. think that's a super fair cost totally. to be able to go through it if, if we weren't. Yeah. If the time were right. Um, so the last one just filled up, unfortunately, like I said with the tour, probably why. But they do have their old cannons here, they've got this nice courtyard, there is a cafe on site so you can grab a coffee to continue your way through the Ring of Kerry. So we're going to head out and let's hit the road. After your time at Ross Castle, the next stop is called Ladies View. It's actually it, Torque Waterfall. Uh, oh yeah, we did Torque yesterday as we stated, so we're skipping Torque. Um, so, Ladies View apparently has amazing views of the lake, and it was called this because it's where Queen Elizabeth's ladies in waiting came, and they saw the view and they were obsessed with it. And What's the lady in waiting? Uh, or, and late. I don't know. I don't the know what I'm asking. I don't but know they're is. like the ladies that would hang out around and like tend to her needs. Oh, like like her, her entourage. Her entourage. This is named after the entourage. And they loved it. And so now it's called Ladies View. You'll see signs. Uh, the town's actually mapped out fairly well if you're on the N71. It's 
for the Ring of Kerry, and it will show you the uh, stops along the way in the major intersections. We did learn today that they go backward from what we're used to. So usually the top would be the closest and then working your way further away from you. And here it's the other way around. So kind of interesting. Saturday, um, June. Don't worry, we're not there. Okay. The Ring of Kerry closes this weekend for an event. Oh, so, is that what it is? Um, luckily, we're skipping that. A lot of times we, we, uh, we, there's not a we. I failed to check for local events in the area and then we get stuck like in Dublin when there was a marathon and half the roads are closed down. So yeah. Anyway, enjoying this beautiful drive and there is tons of wildlife out, We've seen birds galore, deer, um, and so on we go to Ladyview. If you're spending a significant amount of time in the killer area, <laughs> not even significant, we only have like two days here. If you have more than that, there are hiking trails galore. You can hike here until your legs fall off. Um, and so check out the National Park, there's maps everywhere. Uh, often they are free car parks. In fact, I don't think we've paid to park yet in this area at all, which has been really nice. So enjoying this quite well. We're right along the lake here. It looks amazing and a little bit of sprinkles today, so I'm glad we're in the car. So we're now to the parking lot for Torque Waterfalls. It's a short drive. Uh, so in our other video, we showed our bike ride and uh, went up to Torque Waterfall. Here is parking from here. Let's see if we get a little bit closer. Is this where we got off our bikes and walked up? Uh, I think it's the next lot, actually. So I think this lot from the way we came is the mm. higher lot, but I'm not. And then the waterfall is just, oh no, this is where the bathroom is. Yep. So we went under the road here on our bike trail. This is a little bridge we went under and then it pops up. So if you wanted to drive instead of taking bikes, then that's totally an easy option. The, the guide that we've been using, the online guide, which what is it? Shout that out. Irish roadtrips.com is that yes. awesome. It's um, fantastic. Yeah, it's fantastic. But they did say that that lot fills up fairly quickly. So we're gonna drive to the waterfall. You probably wanna get here a little bit later. Yep. There is a second lot, oh, there it is right there. Yep, there's so there's a second lot which is a... substantially less full as we're passing it. You can see there's very few cars. And it's just a short walk either way. You got the lake on the side. We swam in that lake yesterday. We're here early June and the air temp was cold, but we come from Utah. And that mountain lake, lakes. temperature wise, felt like a southern mountain or a <laughs> midsummer mountain lake. So you get down to southern Utah, they're going to be a lot warmer, but in the mountains, I mean, it's, it's not, it doesn't feel like snow runoff like we've been in before. So we actually really enjoyed a refreshing swim, didn't we, guys? So we've made it to the parking at the Lady View. There are little shops here. The parking lot um, does fill up. So if you need 100 meters before this, you can backtrack a little to get to the viewpoint. And you can see why this is a popular viewpoint. Was it you? Probably. <laughs> you. And of course up here there's gift shop, food, drinks, so just want to grab something you can. We've gone through an extensive change of scenery from the tall trees all around to more rocks. All these rocks. And our next stop is called Mall's Gap, or the Gap of Ox, but it got its nickname from an unlicensed pub owner up here. Um, and it's about six kilometers from when you stop at Ladyview. And lucky for us, the sun is coming out. There are lake views ever. Oh, I guess it is. It's so pretty. So a lovely drive. And uh, we'll stop at Moles, take some pictures. Oh, this lake is gorgeous. This actually reminds me a lot of the mountain lakes. And uh, it is, it is way, way, way more lush and green and the purple wildflowers everywhere have my heart absolutely singing.
stop at Mall's Gap would be a great little place to grab a coffee in the lovely shop, and then you can see out over the valley. It's actually really quite lovely. Um, so, I like it quite well already. Plus, it's painted Roxy's favorite color. Here at Mall's Gap is a great place for some amazing souvenirs. They have this beautiful loom here and a lot of um, these goods. So, this, that's what I was just going to say. This brand has been around since 1723 and their work is absolutely stunning. I'm actually dying that I have space in my bag to take one of their blankets home because I am so in love with them. Anyway, it's been a great little stop. They do have restrooms here that you can plan to use and grab a cup of coffee for the room. Once you leave Moles Gap, you will see a sign. There's the uh, the Black Valley. It was actually named the Black Valley because it had no electricity till 1976, which is wild. It is backpacking paradise, but that's not on our trip. So if you're a backpacker, maybe check that one out. We are going to head on. Oh, it changes so much every time we take a big curve. It's like a totally different area. Look how cool. This is a cute place. Yeah, this would be an awesome up spot to stop and walk around. There are RV parks here, so you could definitely stay and camp here. Maybe um, pop into the chippy. Pop into the chippy and uh, have yourself a little, nice. a little bite. Mm -hmm. Ate it in two ways. Smell the sea. Ate it in two ways. Because yeah, you're carrying your plate and you can't do two things at once. <laughs> For me. Yeah. It's a steep cold. I struggle with the I bought On route, we just saw a sign and decided to pop off. And we came to this beach. This water looks like Caribbean blue water. I mean, it is crystal clear. You can see straight to the bottom. It is cold though. And you don't want to walk barefoot in it. What are the fish called? I guess at low tide they have something called weaver fish, which will sting you. Those are a bunch, of, oh yeah. Yeah, there's some specimens. So we're, because it's low tide though, we can explore the tide pools and look for little animals. In this uh, pool here, there is. See if we can see any crabs or anything. Oh, crabs love cold water. They do? Oh yeah. Oh, there's some fish. Oh no, those are like, uh, I don't know if they're shrimp or something that looks like them, but you see them? Like a crawfish? Yeah. So that quick stop, kind of saw wind blown from there, is called White Strand, which is a really beautiful white beach, has amazingly clear water. We really enjoyed hanging out for a few minutes, and we are specimen hunting, and now we are headed back on route. But that is what we were totally encouraged, is anytime you see there are a million different places to pull up, and photo shoots all over the place, take as many stops as you can make the most of the adventure but this is like it feels like being in a movie watching views around
<laughs> oh my god, it's so beautiful. We just arrived at the Kerry Cliffs, which is situated on private property, so uh, you do pay to go see them. I don't know how much, we'll find out in a second. Parking lot's really big, really easy to navigate, easy to get to. Oh, it looks like they have overnight parking. Oh, okay. A little camping area here too. That's cool. I would love to do this again one day with either uh, just a tent and stuff or rent an RV would be amazing. It would be so fun to do that way. But yeah, so we'll grab our ticket here in a second once everyone finishes using the restroom and then we'll head up and look at the cliffs. Okay, these are the carry cliffs. And quite honestly, they're breathtaking. I am positive that the filming I'm doing doesn't even sort of do this justice. It's absolutely amazing. And Puffin Island is out here somewhere, and it is early summer, so we'll see if we can catch some. In case you're curious, you can lay on a, a bee bed, I guess. I think I have a heart attack. I'm Thank gonna you. study. No, probably because it's vibrating the whole time and the buzzing is probably calming. So we are going to head, our next stop is over across that causeway. What's that island called, do you know? Okay. You could drive the whole thing, you could ferry the whole thing. Yeah. Bring you a little bit of so once you get to these cliffs, there's like two major viewpoints and we're headed to the first one. It was uh, 20 euro for the family, 5 euro per adult. You just go that way and I definitely think it's worth it. Said this slate from these islands has been used in all kinds of very famous places. So the Puffin are around here. That, that island down there, that's called Puffin Island. So we'll zoom, we'll see if we can see any. But the, these cliffs, they're, they're astounding. Obviously it's a bit windy up here, right? All right, the wind walking up the hill. It just comes in a blast right through. Top of the cliffs just blows you. And it's a very steep hill too. So they're trying to make their way up very, very slowly on this wind. Yeah, apparently you can come up here with your RV, which would be amazing. How's the walk up, you guys? <laughs> that wind uh, pretty much comes straight at you, doesn't it? As you walk up to the cliffs too, they've got some alpaca and they've got uh, a couple donkeys that are very tame that the kids were petting and the yeah, alpaca really? was just chilling, or the donkey. The donkey came right up to the fence and I saw the kids and like just stood there right and they gave them scratches. Fun place, that's a great stop. Well worth it. So good news, bad news. Good news, we're having a great time. This has been amazing. Bad news, we are already pushing 4.30 in the afternoon. We did not get a fast start this morning and we really should have. So, it's hard because with Littles, 
taking a little bit of time to make sure we get a good breakfast, have a good night's sleep, and we totally stayed up late watching movies last night. <laughs> so, we have made the executive decision to skip Valencia Island, which makes me a little bit sad, but I think it's for the best. So, from here, if you didn't have a slow morning, I would highly recommend a short drive into Port McGee, and then you can check out the Slate Quarry, which is the most westernly um, quarry in all of Europe. And then from there, continue up to Knightstown and take the ferry. Now the ferry is only five dollars or five euro for a car. I said no, I looked up. It's only five euro for a car, and then two dollars for each person. I don't know if they charge the car plus the person. Um, it was unclear, but it would probably be that. So. $5 for the car and then $2 per person, uh, $3 if you are a person with a bicycle, so if you were biking all of this. Anyway, very reasonable ferry, it's a super short back and forth. Did you say dollar for the I said dollar, I was back to myself too. I've been in dollar for those pounds, and I'm always wrong every time I say that. So, with that in mind, because we're pushing late into the afternoon and we still have to go home and make dinner because we try not to eat out on the road, that means um, we don't want to be eating dinner, you know, 9 p.m. Oh, we're we're driving eating, thin roads in the dark. We're eating dinner at 9 p.m. There's oh. no question. But it stays light here so It late. does. We bought a roast. Like o'clock, so. And roast needs a few hours, so oopsie days. Maybe that was, I was worried about that when we bought it. Anyway, instead, what we are doing is driving on to Rossway Beach. This is one of the few blue flag beaches in all of Ireland. Um, the kids are determined to get in from whatever cold there might be. So we'll see how that goes. We definitely wanted to check it out. And uh, that will probably be our last stop before we head back to Killarney for the night. All right, so first of all, the little ones, what are you laughing about? The next place we're going is called Dingo. Why is that funny? <laughs> And also, I totally said Valencia. My mind was thinking peanuts because we're here eating. Um, it is not called Valencia. It, what is it? Bal I don't know how they pronounce Bal it. Valencia. Valencia. Anyway, Fort McGee to Knightstown. And sorry for those of you who live here. And I totally thought I was trying to go off memory, and that was a bad idea. Hey, put your seatbelts on. road to get here is real tight and awesome. It's not bad. It's just one way to take time, take it easy, uh -huh. but it's, it's really not bad. Cool. There's... Look how cool this is. This is unique. I think this is the only road out to Wait. Yeah. That's why I don't drive. So, we're, uh... But roads like this here aren't a big deal because people go slow. They work. This is our last official stop on our carry ring adventure today. Uh, unfortunately, they can't go in the water due to some tide issues, uh, but it's a cool little beach. You can see it's the beauty of Ireland behind me. On the other side, they do have a little sand dune area, which the kids also love sand. So our kids are over climbing in the sand and I'll go climb up that mountain and see what's on the other side. Walking across the sand dunes, you just get more sand. So that's kind of it. A lot of uh, more ocean on the other side. And again, more of the beautiful hills of Ireland behind us. That's a great place though. Even just the sound of the sea and the feeling in the air is outstanding. Sweet. Okay, right, boys. Wait. 